hey guys welcome back to my channel we are going to start a new series which will be on different type of bag textures today we will start with the first lesson which is on doing the crocodile pattern i shall discuss two different techniques using which we can show the crocodile pattern so guys keep watching the video till the end and uh, let's begin with the first technique so first you draw the outline of the bag and uh, we will begin with a very light wash of the base color now this is the color which we see in the cracks of the crocodile pattern you can take the reference from any real picture and uh, you can notice the color which is slightly lighter than the base color so your first layer has to be light so that after we create the overall pattern there is a contrast between the base color and the textured color for this technique guys try to use a thicker paper with smooth texture so that it doesn't have any other kind of texture like which you have on those cold pressed uh, watercolor sheets and uh, we will now try to create our own texture over it for that i'm using this type of empty pens now this is the technique of doing the emboss which i have already discussed in one of my previous videos and that was over the garments to create embroidery type of patterns but we can also use this similar technique to create this kind of textures over our bags and even other type of accessory it's just that how you experiment and how you bring out the creative look for the empty pens you can store your old pens whose ink is finished and uh, i have this type of empty pens with me of different thickness so you can use your own empty pens to create the pattern now remember for this your paper should be thicker and uh, when you are giving the pattern try to use with a good pressure because if you don't put pressure you will not get the pattern over the paper so remember your pressure is very important after you create the pattern over the bag take your pencil and uh, first you can start with simply very lighter strokes after this you can go and uh, put little more pressure on the individual uh, space here and uh, you can take the reference of the picture to create the variation of the darkness and the lightness remember guys in order to create a more natural looking texture try to vary the lightness and the darkness of each uh, texture here because uh, sometimes very shiny and very reflective also it depends on the material if the bag is made of leather or if it has a a mix of latex so it can depend on the type of material also that if it's very shiny or whether it has little matte finish so that way you can definitely play around with the darkness and the lightness of each portion here now you can use a white pencil to blend some of the texture that is the red color and to create little darker stroke you can use a darker shadow of the base color for example i have used the red here and in order to show the darker portion of the red i will use a darker red type of color or you can skip that color and use the black as usual and lastly you have to use the black guys because using the black will bring out that ultimate darker portion of the overall texture for the black also you can work on each of the pattern individually and try to give a little outline kind of effect to each of the portion here after that you can blend the black again with the first base color that is the red so this way we will continue and this is a very nice practice in order to work on your pencil blending also because your pressure and the direction of the strokes matter a lot how you apply your pressure will also show the type of the texture the darkness and the lightness so guys 
uh, initially you can start with very soft strokes and then suppose in one portion you have to show that little shine and see how i'm doing it i'm leaving some of the uh, texture blank and then doing around the side of it after that i will blend that center portion color with a white or ivory i am using ivory you can also use white or something like a lighter red whichever you want to use you can use just we have to blend this color and make it little bit smooth and lighter comparing to the rest of the side colors this way the center portion where we have kept it more lighter will stand out and will show us that shiny portion in order to bring more natural look of the texture try to use your base pencil to give little outline because uh, this is something like which is a uh, little 3d effect so you can definitely work very neatly and uh, using your time so invest your time and try to use different variation of the strokes and the lightness and the darkness give the final finishing with your darker a shade that is i'm using the dark red to create little boundary kind of effect and finally use your black also when you are using black guys you can blend the black again by using the base color that is the red color over it because black is too strong so it might give you that sketchy effect and if you want to make it smooth so keep on blending the color again using your base color so guys this way i will complete the look here remember the steps it's actually very simple just the main focus has to be on your pressure wherever the shade is lighter when you take the reference of the picture observe the picture well and you can see that on some portion the uh, shine is more prominent so that place don't apply too much pressure and it will give you that effect of the shine like which you can see on this portion where i have done the uh, red color shading very lightly and now i am using the amount of black to give a nice outline so that it uh, it's uh, looking more neat and clean and it should not look like the color is bleeding out of the paper so definitely take your time do it slowly don't be in a rush because sometimes when we do it in a hurry the colors might just go out of the outline so take your time and uh, do it carefully take the colors accordingly that is from the lighter shade and then do the black at last so guys you can see in the center portion also i want to create that lighter effect so i have given the red color shading very lightly and now i am using my ivory pencil over it to blend the color and it's giving me a very light uh, reddish and pinkish type of uh, mixed color so with the white or the ivory either you can blend it at a go or you can work on each of the a shape here individually and after that don't forget to create the final effect with your black and here you can see guys how i'm working on this individual shapes and creating the black shading over it and gradually it's taking the full effect of the crocodile pattern so uh, after that uh, you can also take the dark red and uh, use it to mix the red that is to blend the red or to create this kind of boundary effect on each of this shapes again so it's again the mix of all your colors first you make your own color palette that which of the colors you are going to use usually it starts with the base color then a darker version of the base color plus the uh black and then the white or any type of mixing color which you are going to use to mix all the colors lastly for the gold i'm using a combination of the yellow and raw amber you can use any type of brown shade along with your uh, yellow and guys giving the final black shading is very important you can use your maximum pressure to outline each of the detailing here whichever is visible in this different uh, parts of the bag it is very important because uh, this will 
make all the part look more natural and uh, don't forget to add the final shine with any type of gel pen i am using my kneadable eraser to clean the surrounding on the paper and uh, here we are done with the first technique guys for the second technique i am using this neon highlighter to first map out the texture pattern then i will fill between the uh, shapes here so guys you can also use any type of other fine liners or gel pens or markers to give the color here and this is something like the base color instead of doing it all over the space like how we did on the first uh, bag we will just create the pattern first then we will color on each of the shape individually so you can use fine liners and gel pens to map out that textured line after that you can use your own choice of colors to fill between the shapes here i am going with pencil colors only because i feel with the pencil color we can get that uh, matte kind of effect that little leathery kind of effect and it also creates a very textured look so i will prefer pencil colors and uh, that's why i'm going with this uh, green color shade and here also guys the technique is uh, very similar to which i have already shown in the first bag that uh, in order to blend the color we will use different color pencil over it to blend it like i'm using this lighter shade of the green to blend the first green which is little bit darker and you can see how the color becomes very smooth and creamy after we blend it with the second color so while blending you have to use your pressure so that the color blends more smoothly in order to give little more effect to the shapes i'm going with the first green again to create little more textured effect and some more darker strokes here and there and giving this sort of outline to each individual shapes guys and rest of the colors again remain same like you can use your black to give the final detailing the final shading over this shapes so in this manner i will complete the rest of the bag and guys do comment below how you enjoyed this tutorial and also do recommend other type of patterns and textures you would want to see in the upcoming videos of this bag series so definitely try this one out guys try the technique experiment with your own colors and own method swatch your colors beforehand try to make your own color combinations and i would love to see your recreations upload it on instagram and you can tag me and use the hashtag art studio by so that it's easier for me also to see everybody's work under the hashtag also one more thing guys do check out the description for the details on the materials which i have used here and you can check out the previous tutorials also check out the playlist where i have uh, made the proper playlist on watercolor tutorials and uh, details on the art materials art supplies and the type of papers and materials which i mostly use and if you have any other type of video suggestions do leave it down in the comment box below So our second bag is also completed do let me know your favorite technique from this whether you like the red one more or the green one if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe i shall see you all very soon till then keep illustrating take care bye bye